we're on a nutrition mission with author of best-selling book by any greens necessary Tracy McCorder and we veg out with healthy food favorite choices cafe first we travel to the nation's capital Washington DC to talk with vegan public health nutrition trailblazer and top-selling author Tracy McCorder I am Tracy McWhorter, and I'm an author, I'm a speaker, I'm a public health nutrition expert, and I teach people how to be vegan. I've been vegan for about 27 years now. I'll be 47 this year, and so this is my lifestyle. Her national bestseller, By Any Greens Necessary, was rated number one vegan book by the Huffington Post. With over two decades of experience, Tracy offers how to balance your plate at mealtime. So the first thing that I tell people to do is to add rather than take away. So I suggest that people start adding more dark leafy greens to their plate. And you can imagine a plate, I suggest that people make half of their plate green. So whether it's um, a kale salad or whether it's mustard greens or if it's spinach, if it's collard greens, whatever your favorite greens are, make half of your plate green. And then a third of your plate whole grain. So if you're eating white rice, switch to brown rice. If you're eating white pasta, switch to quinoa pasta, brown rice pasta, or corn pasta. Um, and that right there is something easily um, that you're easily able to do. Tracy was gracious enough to show us how she makes her delicious and easy spicy kale salad. So you start with the kale and you want to um, wash it. I wash it three times, pat it dry or put it in a salad spinner, chop it up as big or as small as you'd like. If you're just starting with kale, I suggest that you use curly leaf kale because it's milder. And this is what it looks like, beautiful kale. And you should always just eat it raw, get used to that. So you chop that up, put it in a bowl, and this spicy kale salad is going to be like you cooked it. So what we use, but it's raw. So what we use to break down the fibers and make it like sauteed, is some olive oil. Use different things for the salt. This is called Bragg liquid aminos. You can also use um, uh, tamari. You can, um, you, which is like a, a soy sauce, a, a healthier natural soy sauce. And you drizzle that on it. The olive oil and whatever you're using for salt, you just want to make sure that all the leaves are very well coated. And this is what will begin to break down the fiber in the leaf. And why this is so beautiful is that it's, um, it's not cooked. So you're getting all of the vital nutrients that you need in a dish that tastes and looks, looks cooked, but it's still raw. It looks beautiful and shiny. And some people ask if I use the stems, I do. I absolutely use the stem. Not the big, thick stem right at the bottom of the leaf, but the stem in the middle, the stem in the middle, I do use, okay? And I recommend that you use that because that's where the most of the fiber is. That's the skeleton of the plant. Next ingredient I'm gonna add is nutritional yeast. And the reason that vegans use nutritional yeast is that it has a very rich Parmesani taste to it and it's loaded with the with uh, B vitamins. And so um, it's, a, it's another great source for anyone, omnivore, omnivores or vegans, to get their B vitamins, because we're all deficient and should all get more. But this is really the secret. This is what gives it the pop. And you mix that in. I mean, like, I will eat this bowl today, and it will be all, you know, kale all up in my teeth, and I love it. So now I add a little spice, cayenne pepper. Uh, just sprinkle that on. I like it hot. And then you want to mix that in. So the next thing you want to do is to add some more color. You want to eat the rainbow. So these are cherry tomatoes. See, it looks like it's been sauteed. Now and this is your salad. This is a base 
This should be half your plate, and believe me, you will love it. This, you can add anything you want. This is the foundation. You can add chickpeas, you can add, you can add whatever you want to this. So I don't have a fork, but I am just gonna take this. Yum, 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 yum. Information about Tracy McWhorter or her book, By Any Greens Necessary, please visit ByAnyGreensNecessary.com. Up next, we head back to steamy Miami where there are few things more perfect than the weather and vacation atmosphere. But what's someone living the veg life to eat here near the downtown Miami area? Come on. Whoop, whoop. All right. <laughs> We're moving! We're at vegan food favorite Choices Cafe to find out. Choices is home to meat-free, dairy-free, plant-based delicacies like the Gentle Lentil Burger, the Genie Roll, and their fantastic vegan pizza. They even have Create Your Own Pancakes. At Choices, you actually do have quite a selection of delicious tasting, healthy, convenient food. The owner explains his inspiration for opening Choices. And I was here on a business trip in Miami, visiting from New York, and there was nothing to eat. It was very frustrating for me as a guy who's a plant-based fueled person. And so I decided I was frustrated enough to the point where I wanted to make a change. So I quit my corporate job world and uh, planted my life savings into this place here in Miami. Didn't know anybody. Asked my brother to join me in my mission. He came over and, and that's kind of how the, uh, the story folds. And Customers are glad that Alex took the plunge. I just loved what I just had, which are the um, Gentile, Lentile bros. Very good. Yes, and the juice green. And the, and the green juice that's made out of lemon, spinach, yes. cucumber, I think. Great. It's great. Fresh, organic, and even gluten-free wraps, burgers, pizza, sandwiches, and more. The unique colors, textures, and flavors are what set choices apart from the other local dining options. It's got the Ezekiel so toast oh, with a yes. layer of diet cheese, so beans, a little bit of pico de gallo, tomato, then we put the walnut pate on it, which is spicy, made with cayenne and walnuts in the food processor. Then we put the, the shredded carrots on top with a delicious layer of pesto dressing. Our restaurant was intended to go towards a larger audience. And the, the menu items, based on my experience living this lifestyle for 26 plus years, was to go after, you know, standard American diet folks, not vegetarian, not vegans. We love veganism, we love vegetarian, but we, for me, I just don't have the resources or the knowledge to become vegan. Because some of the products are very hard to find. You need to be very creative. I mean, I think the, the best advice I give people is because it can be very intimidating with like, don't eat this, don't eat that. Start with what you can eat and let that kind of crowd out the bad stuff. So focus on, well, here's some fruits and vegetables that I like. Start eating more of those. Just let them know, like, this word vegan, it, it, it can be delicious. It can be filling. It can be um, extremely nutritious. And, you know, try to package all those elements into one thing. And hopefully those people walk away with a, 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 an open mind. For more information about choices, please visit MyChoicesCafe.com. Like what you see? Don't be shy. Log on to our YouTube account and subscribe. Visit our newly redesigned website, veglive.tv. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, be friendly on Facebook, and Google+.